Um, I, uh... I did a thing. For some of you that haven't seen my recent videos or just know me personally, yeah, I know I shot with the A7 III. Uh, I went from the Canon M50 to the A7 III as of damn near a year, damn near a year ago. I just had bought the A7 III, I believe. And uh, a year later, A1. Some of you might be asking why. I don't think actually anyone's asking why. Actually, this may make you ask why. That, that may make you ask why. You know, I ask myself that same question too. I'm like, yo, why did you just, you know? But you know, you gotta only live once. So you gotta, you gotta just go ahead and, you feel me? Where we on the same page. It's gonna be kind of like an unboxing and also just kind of like my own personal opinion on it. This is the first day having it. I haven't opened this yet. All right, so we just going, we gonna go ahead. We going to make sure we keep the box nice. I like to preserve my boxes and all my stuff. I think I got like, I don't even know. A video is coming soon talking about all my gear and stuff like that. Okay. Talk to him. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Let me know in the comments. We got the OG A1, you know, for me, camera straps. I'm probably gonna keep this. I'm not gonna use it. I might just keep it, you know, dabble with it a little bit just as like a little souvenir. I never use the on-brand camera straps. They're not ideal. But after you touch or finish with the top, it kind of breaks into that. Oh, all right. Okay, a little battery wall charger which the a7 III did not come with. The a7 III, you just had, you had no choice but to charge the battery within the camera or get an external charger. It did not come with anything like this. So this, definitely valid. Has like a meter, tells you how much it's charged, all that jazz. So now we have, okay, hold on, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not even surprised. It doesn't look like much of anything. Like if you've if you've seen my A7 III, like if you could see it, I mean, it has a wrap on it right now, so it doesn't look the same, but if you've seen any Sony camera and you just don't know, what's different is not much of anything. Hmm. I'm sorry, it's my first time looking at it too. Just give me a little time to like mesmerize. Like, eh, that's everything. It's like, hold on, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. I think that's probably the wire. What is this? It come. I mean, it would come with a battery. I bought two extra batteries for nothing. Now I guys got five of these big doofy ass batteries. The only thing that I really do wish that this camera had that the a7 III doesn't have, but the a7S III does have, is the flip out screen. This just has this little, you know, bend back, vert, this little mechanic right here. It doesn't have the flip out, which sucks because I really do miss having that feature. Like when I had the, the Canon, uh, I know we don't speak about them on this channel. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. But when I had the Canon M50, you know, that had the flip out camera. Along with the camera, the battery grip, which I never got for my a7 III, so I'm actually kind of interested in how this works. I mean, I feel like, I feel so, I really, I kind of know what a battery grip works like. Like, I think I know for the most part, but uh, yeah, this just goes to the battery slot. Two batteries going here. You got the extra little click up here. Oh, hold on, there's a lot of extra buttons. Hey, this is fire. What the fuck? Now this is hard, what? Um, obviously the SD card, these take, uh, take the CF Express SD cards. I did not grab one of those. Them things are very, very, very expensive and I'm broke. I just, I just dropped this, this load of, you feel me? I can't. So I got a regular SD card a lot faster than like my typical SanDisk SD card. Why I got it. So, or let's just say. You know, as a photographer, we all upgrade our cameras eventually. The a7 III is definitely an amazing camera. However, we all have to upgrade eventually. The a7 III is a perfect hybrid camera for photography and videography. And it was a great beginner camera for my professional career in terms of photography and videography. And it has done a lot of great work for me. Like I've used that camera for a year. I've shot a lot of different shoots with it. It has made me a great deal of money, content, and just brought me a lot of clients out. But it was time to up my game. That's not the main reason I got it though, if I'm being honest. If I had the choice and it was just about upgrading, I wouldn't have done it because I wasn't making bad quality. Like I wasn't, none of my stuff was coming out bad, you know? It was still nice quality stuff. It's not like this can do something that's like, oh my God, I needed that. I couldn't do this with my A7 III. I want to do a lot more YouTube videos like on here that aren't just me sitting down recording like one-on-one -on -one type thing. Like I want to do product reviews. I want to review the A7 III. Like a year of experience with A7 III, I would love to do a review on it. I'm gonna do a review on it. I don't have a second camera. It's the only camera I had. Or I wanna do some in the field stuff, helping out other photographers on where to be on certain like photo shoots and just field work. I can't do that if I don't have another camera. 
I always knew I was gonna need another camera, but I always told myself, I'm not gonna get another camera unless I'm upgrading from the A7 III. I'm not gonna get like the A600 or something like that. Like, why would I do that? It wouldn't make sense. That's just getting a downgraded camera. Like, if I'm gonna get a different camera, I would wanna get a better camera and have the A7 III be my backup. Also, if you are in, not even any type of photography, sports photography, wedding photography, something where you need to be on your toes while you're shooting, it's a benefit, a huge benefit to have, to be dual wielding cameras. Like, I'm talking, you feel me like it is a huge plus to be able to do that so like and i've always wanted to because i've been in so many positions when i'm at a football game or something like that and things are just getting too close to me and i can't do anything because i got on my telephoto lens in terms of the specs that are different in terms of like the amazing high specs that make the huge difference from upgrading from the a7 III to the a1 we could just jump right into megapixels but it may be a plus and a, and, a, and a negative it depends if you know anything about megapixels if you have a high megapixel sensor and you do high iso shoots you're more certain to get grainy photos so that's just one of the issues there but i heard that this does pretty well with handling the grain so we're going to see about that because i do a lot of low lighting shoots in terms of indoor photography and stuff like that so we'll see with that this is like the big brother to the sony a7 III. it's a hybrid camera that is great at both and that's just the price the price reflects it heavily another big step up uh in terms of the photography aspect of things oh i should also mention it shoots 8k that doesn't apply to me it may later on down the line it may apply to me it doesn't apply to me right now though but it does shoot 8k 30 which is wild another great great feature that in terms of photography in terms of wildlife photography and especially what i do sports photography is the amount of frames you can get out of this when shooting like in the highest setting which i'm assuming is this h plus you can get up to 30 shots per second like that is wild so this was definitely a, a big step this has been the biggest purchase i've ever made in terms of any of my equipment bro this costs more than a whole lot of stuff like bro what like this is actually good like this is a car like this is a car right here so I'm definitely grateful to be able to say that I have been able to go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna keep making some videos on this. 100%, you're gonna see a lot more videos on this and you're gonna see a lot more videos on the a7 III as well. Lens reviews with a new setup looking like this and just like that. I have a lot of content that I definitely wanna drop for you guys. Thank you for everyone who's been tuning into the last videos and stuff like that. I've been getting a bunch of DMs on Instagram. Just people ask me for advice with this and that and I appreciate it. Just keep shooting. Just any question you guys ever ask, ask. Hey, the Instagram, you feel me? Now, I know y'all seen me sit this at the beginning. I'm gonna sip it for you for the one time. Bro, this juice is terrible. Hold on. But I'm gonna drink it like it's good. For y'all. If y'all wanna go ahead and cop one of these mugs, y'all can definitely check out the, the link in the description. It's also gonna pop up on the screen. That's the DTV merch, the official store. New merch is out. We got these hoodies. We got the ice shoe hoodies. All on the screen. They popping up. Go ahead, go crazy. If y'all wanna support your boy, I definitely did just break my bank. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to stay creative. See you in the next one. Peace.